This is uh, Elections of US America. Uh, it, is a, it's upside down. it is a card game uh, where you are aiming to become the president. So the first thing the player does is they pick a candidate that they would like to be. So we have topical candidates like Bernie Sanders. We have historical candidates like Abraham Lincoln. We have mythical candidates like Cthulhu. So you pick a candidate. So in this case, I will be maybe Hillary Clinton, or actually I'm going to be George Washington. So you can see on the candidate there, you have your favorability with Republicans, your favorability with independents, and your favorability with uh, Democrats. So each round, what happens is you play for states. So you draw three state cards. So I'll take three small state cards. And then each card has the number of voters and the number of electoral colleges it's worth, which is like the points it's worth. So this one, for example, is worth is five voters. I go to the voter cards and I draw five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. And I do that for all of them. And then each, each turn, we're going to compete for all these voters in these states in a, in a round we call a state round. I've got a hand of cards. So for example, some of these cards like this one here, these add to my campaign team, so I add them to my candidate, and you can see now my ability to attract Republicans has gone from four to six now. So uh, in the case of Democrats, it's gone from four to two. So previously, in a, in a round, I could have only got these voters, whereas now I've powered up, I could get both of these, because it comes to five, and I'm able to get six in total. So each turn, I can either play a card like this, or we have other cards like Scandals, or I can grab some voters. And so there's a constant tactics between do I get the voters before the other players get them, or do I build up my candidate to be better for the future? Once we've competed for all of the voters and they've all been assigned, and they've been taken, we then total up who's got the most voters. Whoever's got the most voters gets to pick one of the states, the three states available. So. <coughs> If I won, I'd probably take Arizona because it's worth 11. The next highest would get this one, and the last highest get that one. It's two to six players, so if you didn't have enough to get any, then tough luck, you didn't win any in that. And then we repeat that. We do the small states and we do the big states, which uh, have a lot more voters but are worth a lot more electoral colleges uh, votes. And essentially, you build up your, your candidate as you move around, so you get towards a crescendo. You can do a short game, a medium game, which is, uh, or you can do a campaign version, which essentially is where you do the primary and then the main game. There's a lot of jokes, as you might imagine, about politics, because unfortunately it's funny. So lots of our things like Facebook memes are based on real things that happened. We have WikiLeaks in there. We have lots of the scandals that have really happened. And scandals are a little more complicated. So, for example, this one. You get cards that allow scandals to happen. Sometimes you play them on yourself. So this one, for example, it reduces your favorability with Republicans and independents, but it increases it with Democrats. And a lot of the cards, you have to pick which voter block you're gonna go for, so there's a lot of strategy in there. So I'd say this game is Elections America by Aura Digital, and you can get it off our site, auradigital.com. It's very topical and it's very fun. So this, so we have done ports of these classic 80s games. So this one is Dark Future, which uh, is a Games Workshop game from the late 80s. This is Chainsaw Warrior, also a Games Workshop one from the 80s. And this is Steve Jackson's Ogre. Uh, originally, I think, came out in 1977, but this is, I think this version is uh, 82 or 83. Um, and what we've done is we've taken these games and made digital versions of the games. Um, so over here you can see a trailer for Dark Future, our game playing there. What we've done is, we've, in the case of Dark Future, we've taken the original setting, so if I open the box you'll see, as a classic game, it has, you, you had road sections, uh, and little explosions and things like that, and grab an explosion, and of course, as a car based game, you had cars, and in fact, We've got some of the original miniatures, which we were going to do a competition with, but we got told that actually, these old miniatures from the 80s, they're toxic now. They've got so much lead in them, you can't really do anything with them. <laughs> so this is actually my copy of it. 
Uh, I was a big fan of the game. I wanted to do something with it. I approached Games Workshop. They were really helpful and said, yeah, let's do something. So we made a digital adaptation that is a, an amalgamation of a turn-based strategy and a real-time game, which sounds a bit, well, how can that be? But essentially what happens is the game plays out in real time, but at any point you can slow time right down, select your cars, give them orders. And so that way you're not driving the cars, you're commanding them. And it's really good fun. This one is Chainsaw Warrior. This is another Games Workshop classic from the late 80s, I think. I want to say this one's 1988. So again, all the original cards and everything like that. We ported this into a digital version, which you can play in classic mode, and then there's a couple of other modes in there. That's currently available on Steam and on iOS as well. And then finally, we also ported Steve Jackson Games' classic Ogre. This is a game about large cybernetic tanks fighting it out. So if I open the box, you can see some of the units inside. You see all the classic units there. There's lots of versions of Ogre around. What we've done is got the original Ogre. Uh, we've got the GEV rules. You've also got, on top of that, you've got a campaign mode, which is exclusive to the digital version. And also you've got multiplayer and digital. And there's a map creator that you can create maps and play them in the, the game. But you can also print them out for use in your miniatures as well. And they're all available uh, on Steam right now. You can grab them. Or, and you can go, again, you can go to aurochdigital.com and you will be able to see links to all of the games we're doing and new games as well.